talking about anything from super sticky tires to lean angles, comfort. Anything. With the assumption that reliability is not a concern. Because honestly, my Diablo at 1098 have been fantastic. My Triumph, the only problems it had were electrical and they were primarily due to a weak charging system. Aside from that, assuming you swap out the regulator rectifier and stator, it was dead nuts reliable. It's one of those machines that you can just slap all day off the rev limiter and that engine on that 955i just would not go. <laughs> it would not blow up on you. I remember I was talking to, uh, well, emailing back and forth with Kevin Carmichael and Kyle Woods, and I was concerned because I was doing wheelies at the time, doing uh, second gear sit downs. Both Kevin Carmel and Kyle Woods were both like, unless you're doing 12 o'clock stand-ups for miles and miles and miles, the oil pickups on that speed triple engine were deliberately placed by Triumph in a location that you won't have to worry about uh, oil starvation. So that's another thing, like, would you want the bike to be specifically stunt happy like can it is laid out such like a speed triple or a street fighter that you can easily pop wheelies stoppies you just have absolute control over the machine without adding a bunch of extra crap to it like you wouldn't necessarily need a rear brake on the left controls or any of that kind of stuff. I never got into doing stand-ups on my speed triple, but sit-downs, I could just pop it up to the balance point. With a little practice, I could probably get back up to that, but I gotta get that bike running. And it feels so gutless compared to this thing. <laughs> I don't know if I've still got the video of an old drag race that I did against a friend back in Texas on an eighth mile track, but it just looks so slow compared to my Diablo. And it doesn't help that I put a Zard full exhaust on it, which has larger header pipes and slightly leaky slip fits, slip joints in the header. So I probably don't have the amount of back pressure that the exhaust wants to make max torque at the low end. So while the bike does ride world smoother with that exhaust on it, it rides smooth because it doesn't have that on-off switch 3000 RPM torque in first and second gear. So, And the same kind of thing happens with the Diablo when you put the Termignoni exhaust on. I've noticed that when I ride bikes with the Termi pipes, it is much softer in the low end, whereas mine is very snatchy. It just wants to rock it off the line. Now most of that's a function of fueling. Stock this bike was probably about the same as those, but there's a guy over in Australia called Fish Archer who graciously shared his tune with the Diablo Forum members. And Toon Boy. And that map is just nuts. <laughs> just gobs of power, ignition advance going on. It is full on hoon mode. Got guys on the forum reporting being able to pull power wheelies in third gear. 
like, uh, uh, you must have some really good fuel over there because the crappy 91 octane in California does not make, does not help. be doing a pad line master cylinder brace um, and a whole bunch of other things oil change to the BRZ this weekend with a friend so I will have video of all that if you're a car guy and you're interested in that kind of stuff but um, Got a lot of how-tos and stuff that I also want to do for the BR, I mean the Diavel. Just don't know when I'm going to get to everything. But my son is sleeping better, so my energy levels are up. And that is helping quite a bit. For a couple weeks there I wasn't posting much of anything. And that is because I was dead, exhausted. I was not feeling the editing vibe. Honestly, it takes, God, probably at least, I think it took me at least four hours to do that ex Diavel talk in the car, showing all the clips of the Roland Sands bike that I took photos of. But, should be interesting stuff coming this summer. This spring, I'm going to more bike nights. Should see a lot more cool shit. So, I will see you next time.